On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, fixing a mistake I made with folder organization. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk about using software in the church. More recently, mostly ProPresenter, but sometimes other software creeps in. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation, by the way. So just leave your comment under the video. If you're subscribed to the video podcast, which you may not have known even existed, uh, then by all means drop me a line, Paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F, or head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. Any of those are perfectly acceptable ways to go about it. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you the mistake I made. So Steve Webb, just a few days ago, sent me this message over on YouTube um, under the video that I did about uh, organizing backgrounds. So let's read that. Hi Paul, I tried this in ProPresenter, didn't save the new folders. When I asked about this on the ProPresenter forums, I got this response from one of their engineers, Steve, just to note that custom folders in the video image bin are not designed to organize custom playlists are only designed to organize custom playlists not media if you succeed in adding media to them the media will not be saved you should think of custom playlists as folders to organize your media as it turns out the saving issue may not be related to this because right now ProPresenter isn't saving anything, an issue I'm continuing to pursue. But I'm curious as to your response to what the engineer told me. Thanks for all your helpful videos. Blessings to you, my brother. Okay, so he's right. I'm wrong. I tested it. In fact, let's head on over here to ProPresenter 5. Now, you'll notice that uh, when I uh, go over here, I click, um, well, it's a little below where you can see, but uh, new group folder, and I add this new group folder. If I select that, and press this plus button, it acts like it wants to uh, add new media. And it will look like it actually is adding new media until you shut down ProPresenter and restart it, which I don't use this feature myself all that often, so I hadn't noticed that shutting it down and restarting it makes the new media show up uh, up here in backgrounds. So that's actually not helpful at all, not what I was trying to do at all. So let's instead head on over um, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here and I'm going to select new playlist. So when I do that then I can add media to this new playlist and so I would not have actually called this a playlist. I would have called this a folder and this a like playlist group or something. But I'm not in charge of such things, so it really doesn't matter what I think. Uh, all that matters is that you know how to use it. So that's one thing, but there's something else that you can add in there as well. So again, selecting that new group is and I go down here. Uh, again, this is off screen because I'm trying to make this exactly 720p. Um, I can do a new hot folder. So again, 
in recent videos I've shown you how to use hot folders. Let's go into uh, my video drive here and let's say I wanted to add this folder with all my raw video files so I could do that. And in doing that, it might take it a minute to populate because that's a big folder with a lot of video files. But once I do that, yeah, you'll see I have the spinning pinwheel of death. So once I do that, you can see all my video files here that uh, are added as backgrounds. And if you want to know how to change that, you can... Uh, watch last week's video all about how to change that. But that is basically what you can do. So this new group folder, think of this as kind of uh, a way to organize hot folders or playlists. And the playlists are not these playlists, which that's something that is also not intuitive to me. The playlist is a video playlist. Now I believe that I can, yeah, I can't even add that to a playlist over here. So really I would have called this um, a folder. And remember we can do the same thing over here and change the hot folder to raw videos folder and I would have called this something like a folder group or something you know something where it's clear that you're not putting individual pieces of media in there but you are in fact putting um, larger amounts of media um, playlists, media playlists, which not exactly the most intuitive name, which normally I love Renewed Vision, so I'm not dissing them. I just, maybe it's me. Uh, and hot folders can both go in there, and I've tested this out, so that does work even as long as you're saving everything, which I just did, that does work when you shut down ProPresenter and start it back up. Well, I hope that helps you. If you're like me, sometimes uh, more than one ministry uses the same computer and the amount of media can get just really out of hand. So that's what happened with one of our satellite campuses and I didn't know what the youth group wasn't using anymore and they didn't know what I wasn't using anymore, so it just got unwieldy. So using that tip, you could uh, organize it more easily. If you like this content, don't hesitate to go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up a free gift and a free subscription to my email newsletter. Uh, I have in there, as one of those gifts, my top five choices for the best tricks that you can do with ProPresenter. So I think I'd steer you that way. If you want something a little more organized though, more of a uh, point A to point B kind of organized class on ProPresenter, then by all means head over to learnpropresenterfast.com. That's my site where I have a ProPresenter course that's more uh, organized, more lined out in a linear fashion and I think that that would be something that would be helpful to either beginners in ProPresenter or churches that need to train volunteers but want to save the time of having to book a room and get everyone's schedule lined up etc. You can just give them this course once you've uh, gotten it. So either way until next time this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com